Hey everyone, Grinch with a forehead here. A new Bethany's Boulevard. Sorry for my hair. I've been a little busy doing some crazy stuff on another thing that I did. Today is another Eat It episode. As per usual. <laughs> Seems like that's all I've been doing lately. It's been doing the same thing over and over and over. Like I'm in a rut. But I don't care right now. It's not like it's a midlife crisis or anything like that, because if it was, <laughs> you'd be hearing me play Faith No More's Midlife Crisis to tell you that it is a midlife crisis. But it isn't. I'm just glad I have been buying gin and all kinds of other stuff that we can self check out at some stores. And speaking of which, I gotta say, I hate the approval, approval needed, approval needed, approval needed crap they use all the time. It annoys me. Okay, okay, enough with the ranting today. Enough with the ranting. Let's get on with it. Today I have two things I want to try out. For the second one I'll try it in a little bit, but today I have a Kit Kat Chunky Peanut Butter flavored candy bar. And these were brought to Canada. They were supposed to be like one of those ones that you vote for. It's to, to kind of like the democracy crap. And like how Lay's had like last year. And I think because they also saw how popular the crap was, they wanted to do the same thing. And uh, what they also did is um they had white chocolate, dark chocolate, I think, and peanut butter. Or some other flavors, I can't remember which ones it had. But uh, I know they had peanut butter. I just bought this two days ago at a uh, convenience uh, little supermarket down in New Westminster, which is really more or less like a hipster's kind of joint, kind of. I feel like it was made for hipsters, kind of, with the alternative things that they have out there. They're really different from what I saw. There's a lot of really interesting drinks down there. There's a lot of stuff that you won't be able to find in the other stores. You might, but it may be very, very hard to find. But let's go ahead and try this sucker. I've been really wanting to try it. I've been really wanting to make a video for this for, like, forever, it feels like. And I never got around to it. Here it is. Has a cat logo on it. I'm sorry, but I webcam crap. I hate using sometimes because it really. I have it one way and then it's like the other way for whatever reason. It didn't want me to die. Okay, let's just do this. That's not bad. I'd have to give that a. Uh, like, you could taste the peanut butter for sure. But, um, honestly, I had to give that a solid 6.5 out of 10. It's different, but it isn't something I would completely have again. Because of the fact that it's, well, I think they made Kit Kat Chunky with peanut butter before, and it was alright, but it got discontinued. So they just kind of brought it back, I guess. Whatever, moving on. Today, I have Doritos a Loco Tacos, Taco Bell Edition. And they're only around for a limited time only. What's kind of cool about this is the flavors. It has just normal nacho cheese and a crunchy taco, so... I'm assuming it's just gonna taste like any normal tortilla flavored chip with some nacho cheese flavoring to it. I'm assuming. But, I don't know. It could be something completely different. Like, I mean, it all looks like it's just a puzzling bag of chips. They all look the same. Like, here's the one nacho and one taco. I'm gonna try the taco first. Whoa. 
Oh. That I did not expect. That I did not expect at all. Yeah, I did not expect it at all. This is right out of the ballpark good. I kid you not. This is probably the first time I've actually had a bag of chips that I would definitely recommend it to anyone that likes spicy food or even like anything involving like tacos. If you're someone that likes tacos a lot, if you can find a Doritos Locos Tacos flavored bag of chips at any convenience store that you go to, anywhere you go, if you can find it, get it. Do not, do not deny yourself that satisfaction because it is quite freaking good. And honestly, it's possibly one of the best like things I've ever had. Honestly, when it comes down to it, like, there's a lot of things that I keep on saying to myself. Why am I doing this? Why am I making these videos and basically giving my I'm giving myself a heart attack sooner or later? I'm not. I'm just. I'm doing these because I wanted to do this for a long time, and I think I already explained this before, but I just don't know anymore. I just, I don't like to make just normal YouTube videos anymore. I feel like I need to make something more. So, that's one of the reasons why I'm doing this video, again, for one of these videos. But, at last, finally, Windows Movie, Windows Movie Maker finally works today been a fucking nightmare trying to work with it for ages and now it's working. But, yeah, I definitely think I might get Power Director most of the first right now. Find a better way to get videos done. Sorry guys if you keep on waiting and wondering where the heck I'm, where's my videos, where are my videos, what's going on, am I dead or something like that? I'm not dead, I just, I take time. I'm not like someone that makes a hundred videos a day for you. I'm not like that. I'm not one of those the cinema partners or anything like that. I'm not like them. But I better get off of here. I have to go downtown. I, oh my god, I don't have to go downtown. I gotta do a few things later today and this is just gonna take a lot more time than I wanted to. But I'm doing it for you guys, the fans. This is Grand Trans Forehead with Cat chunky peanut butter, three with locust tacos, forever. Peace out, y'all. Have yourself a very great weekend.